well G2 can uh, play their style of Rocket League because we all know G2 when they're on are you know probably the the best team in terms of peak ability. The Space Station are far far more consistent. That's why I think Space Station are the favorites here. They've been performing on final days of multiple regionals, majors of uh, RLCS Season X. G2 have not. This is somewhere where they have fallen flat in their face uh, over and over again in the RLCS X season. So until they uh, show us that they're not going to do that, I think we just have to expect it. But I've got good news for you, Twitch chat. I've been calling every single series that we commented yesterday and today's show been pretty one-sided. I don't think this one's one-sided. I think this is going to be a close one. So, you know, for the first time, I can say with confidence that I do think we're going to have a very competitive series without uh, either team needing uh, the solo carry, the likes of which we saw from AJ. Look, mate, I'm only on one team, and that is Team Game 7, okay? I don't care how we get there. I don't care which team is uh, winning or losing up to that point, as long as we get to there. As uh, we are going to start off with Sipical, looking to try and put some pressure down on G2. Follow-up shot from Rettles. Wow. That's going to hit the crossbar. And that is what Space Station going to want to try and pull out throughout the rest of the series. Or off the backboard, Naps, who looks so good. Him in Chicago yesterday on form. We need plenty more of that, though, today. Into the midfield. Rizzo leaves it for JNAPS. The boost deal with Chicago up in support. Oh, Rizzo's not got the best touch there. That might be offense over now for G2. Instead, it's another missed touch there from Space Station. Who aren't looking too comfortable over on their own side of the field. And G2 slowly pressing forward. They'll try and steal the 100 boosts. And get themselves into a, a position where. They'll either get the free shot, or Space Station will get the mistake, or we can just get a long clear straight over to Reynolds, and Space Station have got the first goal. Oh dear, well, that's a nightmare for G2 fans. Chicago has just autopiloted from the halfway line to the edge of the box, and done absolutely nothing when he's got there. That is the most punishing and the most consistent mistake that G2 make. Their third man positioning is uh, just not on the same level as the other top teams in North America. They've done it again. They've been their own worst enemy in these positions time and time again. Rettles had no boost there. Chicago had positioned even a tiny bit more safely. He would have been fine. But there we go. G2. It's already the most G2 game one that I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> They've got no idea how to play third man. But oh boy, do they know how to infield pass. Well, if you're watching us for the very first time ever and you're thinking, <laughs> oh, what's this G G2 team? You know, what are they all about? Well, there you go. Your first That's two minutes. Defend. That's that the is... attack. That's it, yeah. in a nutshell. That is what G2 do. I mean, it's why they're so entertaining. It's why they're so popular. You know that every series they play is going to have a bunch of goals. It's going to have a ton of entertainment. And you never know what's going to happen next. It's one of those teams I wish we were exaggerating about. But we're not. It's just how they are. Here they go. And there's Arsenal taking advantage of a bit of a calamity here on the back line. Rizzo just oh, pushed dear. straight into Chicago. It's a bit unlucky, that one. Rizzo just wanted to make sure that he didn't get uh, dunked on by the Space Station defender. Little did he know Chicago was also in the same line um, coming the other direction. And he sent it into the middle. Chicago didn't have the boost to catch up to as well. That's, a more, that's more of an unfortunate error there for G2. Not so much uh, themselves to blame as uh, just a bit of a chaotic situation that's gone against them. Arsenal now tries to make it two over to Sipical and Arsenal oh. to make sure he got a little jump to make sure he got out of the way. But that is now a two goal lead and Space Station Gaming up oh, and rolling man. here. Yeah, JNAPS with a bit of a risky pre-jump there. He wasn't uh, inside his own goal. He was a bit off the goal line um, and he kind of just pre-jumped hoping the ball would come towards him. It, it did, but it was so straight at him that it was a very difficult one to clear. If he just waited on the ground, he would have easily saved that. Now, obviously, much easier to say that after it's happened. But when I was watching that uh, through JNAP's POV um, in the replay, the pre-jump, it didn't look make, like, like it made a lot of sense. Uh, I think he's maybe expecting a bit too much out of the shot there. Good clear again from Sipical. Oh, no. G2 fan. This oh, is a horrid no. thing to say. I was going to start it off with saying, well, if Space Station Gaming are hitting the long clears, this is going to be bad for G2. If you're letting them in, that's even worse. Yeah, again, they just don't have a third man in position. They're all out of the play. And this game's really gotten away from them. We're not late enough into the game yet that that kind of play is acceptable. If there's 20 seconds left and they've got a two goal disadvantage, fair enough. You have to advance. You have to be aggressive. But with this much time left, there's no need to be that uh, aggressive with your third man. Look, they've already scored one. 
<laughs> Would have been nice if they didn't concede the long shot as well. Um, because G2, they always create chances. They know how to score goals. They really don't need to take this many risks with their defensive position. Six goals, three minutes played. Yep, that sounds about right for what I'm expecting for both these teams. <laughs> it's fact. It's actually just fact. G2, uh, they know how to make entertaining Rocket League happen consistently. Um, perhaps more consistently than any other team. But they definitely don't know how to give their fans what they want all the time. They haven't had any regional wins yet. Um, and actually, the majority of the viewers don't expect them to get one. It's performances like this game that have uh, have us doubting G2 as much as we do. Uh, we don't uh, doubt the entertainment value. We just doubt the defense. It looks so shaky. And they've conceded again. And this one's a bit more of Space Station's uh, you know, good plays than G2's bad ones. But still, G2 need to step it up your sugar. Absolutely do. Lovely smothering play there from Space Station Gaming. Got all three players on the other side of the field to make sure that there was no good passing option for G2. And yeah, this is um, all of the worries rolled into one. If you're a G2 fan, you mentioned very entertaining, but we'd like to see that a little bit more often, a little bit longer. Maybe make a grand finals or so, so we get to see more of that sort of gameplay. Jane Apps just trying to find something for his team. Still not out of this just yet, but they've got to get something scored very, very soon. Rizzo looks to try and provide a chance to do that. That was far too quick. And if you thought the... Well, I was going to say that the third man is going to move up even further for G2. That would be incorrect. It's not possible, but <laughs> maybe a comeback in this game is... Yeah, now is exactly what we talked about earlier. Now is the time to forget about defense because you're already so far behind and the time really has gotten away from them. So G2 are going to press up for every single shot, every single half chance they get. Somebody will be there to try and take it. They're, they're within two goals here. This is absolutely winnable for G2. Um, but they'll have to be as clinical as possible if they're going to get any chance of a comeback. Shane Apps goes straight for Ness. Difficult has to keep it out. Needs Rettles to help him. And he will receive that help. There's crucial time off the clock here, which G2 really did need. They're going to try and make something of this game one. Rettles back to the corner. Just hunting for a demo after the fact. To Shane Apps. Jams wants to double tap. Typical has it well read. And that should be the end of this. And G2. Well, they'll know what they want to fix here. They've had to fix it all season long. Heading into game two, Space Station Gaming, though, look rock solid. They yeah. do a very, very difficult task to take them down. I mean, even saying that, though, look at G2 scoring three goals on Space Station Gaming. That's a lot more than most teams can say that they've uh, scored on Space Station, uh, the majority of games that they play them. But that's just how good G2's offense is. They're so good at faking shots and going for a pass, faking passes and going for shots. They're very, very difficult to read. Uh, and the confidence is just there in offense for all three players. It's, uh, you know, everything that peeps weren't in their series against Rogue, where we had one man who looked confident in, confident in offense. G2 are all confident uh, when they get into attack. It's choosing when to go into attack that's their problem. Um, and, you know, at a nil-nil score early on into the game, you really can't be making that kind of mistake. It just set them up for disaster um, throughout the rest of the game where uh, Space Station were capitalizing again and again on G2's bad clearing of the ball. Um, but maybe that's uh, all the G2 mistakes out in one game. I'm sure that's what all the fans are hoping for. I'm not quite as optimistic, uh, but uh, you know, it, there's always a chance when G2 are on the field. Yeah, full credit as well over to Space Station game because their long clears have been outstanding in that game one. We already saw Stipple score from one, which I'm sure he was not expecting, but it will certainly take. And if those clears maintain that level of power, it makes being aggressive for G2 very, very difficult. That third man has to start respecting it. They have to sit back a little bit more. And that disrupts the flow of play that G2 have got used to over their time together. Off the backboard, up goes Jane. That was realizes he can't score it. So nice tap back straight over the Rizzo who is uh, bullying Arsenal over on the goal line. <laughs> That's what G2 want, though. They've got all their players forward. They've there got go. themselves a chance. And they have got themselves the first goal of game two. Yeah, like you said, Rizzo just being such a nuisance here, drives all the way across the box, uh, bumps the whole team out of the way for Space Station Gaming. 
and then sticks the ball back into the middle after getting to the far corner. Uh, just being as annoying as possible. G2, once again, look like they know exactly what to do in offense. And so far, um, they haven't been tested in defense. So it's just all good news for G2 fans. Yeah, they've kept that ball in very difficult positions for those long clears to actually come through. Towards the backboard, Rettles takes it under his own control. Demo as well, so Rettles has to go all by himself here. Would have preferred the passing play, but that car is not on the field anymore. G2 have had all of the possession here in game two. First minute down. Four minutes to go. Rizzo's flick doesn't go anywhere really, but Arsenal's shot straight over to JNAPS, and that car is gone yet again. G2 having a lot of fun taking players out from the blind spot as uh, Rettles gives them a receipt. And that might be the end of G2's offense here. Very difficult to maintain the rotation with just two of you. And finally, Space Station Gaming get to see what the blue side of the field looks like. Space Station are staying calm here. They already knew that this would be part of the series today. Oh my goodness, look at that little uh, pull shot play from G2. I wonder if they were taking notes from the NRG series yesterday. That one looked uh, almost intentional, the way that Chicago hit the brakes and let his teammate run into him. I We're love that. Start we start seeing more. This, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I want to see more of it. it looked, it's so unpredictable. It's so hard to read. And if, uh, you know, unpredictability is where we're, uh, the Morocco League 3v3 meta is headed, I'm all for it. That's uh, just going to make every game so unique. Uh, that is the way I'm, we're going. I'm just saying Team Queso winning the RSTS. Oh, yeah. yeah well, but, I mean, they've like, they pioneered that. <laughs> you went really. NRG, I'm going to <laughs> Team Queso here. I mean, I, I, I went NRG uh, yesterday mainly to annoy some uh, some uh, salty Rocket League viewers, you know? Just got to take every opportunity I can get, but I think NRG do still have a great chance in that. Uh, they're probably my pick of the favorites to win today, um, especially after seeing the competition. Uh, impressive as it has been, it's going to be tough coming out of lower bracket against NRG and Envy with who have that extra series advantage. Uh, speaking of G2, though, yeah, they haven't really been tested. They haven't, they haven't uh, fallen for any of the hard clears, like you mentioned, though. They're keeping their third man safe when he has to be safe. They're committing when he doesn't have to be. Now, by the demos, which is typical wanted to get another one on top of Rizzo, who's done well here, actually. Gives his team a bit of time to get themselves back into rotation. Arsenal looks for the angle, oh! and he's managed to find it. The threat was always there, but nobody would have expected him to actually make this. <laughs> oh my, if it's one of those days for Arsenal, then G2 might be in trouble. We've heard him say in interviews in the past that some days he just doesn't feel like losing or he, more like he just knows he's not losing. And with a shot like that, you've got to think that today might be one of those days. JNAPS on the recovery denied by Rettles. Yeah, they, we, you know, we had a lot of negative things to say about G2's defense in the last game. Can't really say too much in the last play. Arsenal was just too good. The shot was absolute perfection. Now up to one each. Typical challenge very early on by Rizzo. Arsenal again doing a very good job just trying to dance around the first challenge. Now Jena was over for the double tap. He's managed to get on target Whoa! and then lands on the ball. Whoa! Puts it in and not for the first time today, Johnny. We have seen this play. What a recovery by JNAPS. And that wasn't just an accidental play where he's looking to get back in the game. He had his eye on the ball that whole time and he played straight for it without any time wasted. Insane solo effort from JNAPS. G2 respond to Arsenal's huge play with one of their own. And uh, somewhere out there, first killer is looking at that play and thinking, well, mine was better. I'm sure first cool. killer says that about every play. <laughs> so, yeah, I can. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. We've, got, we've got a lot of personalities like that <laughs> these days, which is absolutely fantastic to see. Makes the uh, scene a lot more entertaining. Have that confidence in yourself. You're against uh, an awful lot of competition this season in RLCSX. Chicago looks at the infield. Nobody around available to actually put it on target. They don't need that at the moment. 35 seconds away. G2 have maintained calm in defense. Zen, almost. It's been a, an out character. Very disciplined display from them. And Chicago, again, just trying to take it all by his lonesome. Force the challenges. Get the boost out and tick that time off the clock. 
Gretel was being harassed by Jane Abs. Paul can come over to Arsenal. Did score the one earlier on, but very difficult to take it past Rizzo and Chicago, who was waiting for the challenge. Is there going to be one more twist to this? Or a G2? Just going to see this one through. It looks like they are oh, going God. to. And for G2 Esports, that is a performance that you want to see. Just uh, no mistakes in defense. It's as simple as that. That's the difference between G2 in this game and G2 in game one. They started off game one with their uh, patented uh, bad positioning with third man. You know, it, it, it's the G2 classic. Uh, but now they've shown us in game two that they've identified that weakness. They've had a chat between the game and it's pretty clear given how uh, much more careful G2 were moving forward in game two. It's pretty clear that they had a chat or, you know, somebody said uh, between games one and two, let's just be a bit more careful uh, because there's no point giving free goals to Space Station Gaming. Space Station Gaming don't need a lot of help scoring. All three of their players have got individual playmaking ability. Uh, we saw a goal, a, a stunning goal there from Arsenal. Typical needs no introduction. And Rettles, one of the most uh, difficult players to play against in the North American Rocket League scene. G2 will need to do exactly what they've done there again and again and again if this series was going to remain competitive. But that's what we're all hoping for, Shogu. That's what everybody wants to see because when G2 produce, uh, you know, a pretty standard defensive display, their offense is allowed to really shine. Yeah, they will really need a lot of that. I think, you know, a lot of G2 fans out there especially are just hoping for the most boring day of Rocket League of their entire lives. <laughs> <laughs> for once, for a change. Just, yeah. just for once. They'll consider that a nice, unique day for them where the heart rate doesn't go too high. But this is going to make it a little bit more difficult to do that. Rettles tries to put Chicago under some pressure. The second touch does not help Power Space Station. Chicago finds his way through. Four boost means he's just going to try and lay it off. So couldn't quite collect. Instead, typical back over to Rettles. Back over to Arsenal yet again. Oh, and well played. Wiped out. He tried to look for a little gap to try and do go for the solo play. Can't do that when your car's been taken off the field, though. And G2, again, defensively so sound. Yeah, Chicago in particular has really impressed me in the end of game one uh, with his follow-up challenges. And now the start of game two. Oh, look at that from Sipical. A very uh, narrow miss on a double touch off the corner wall. Sipical's been pretty quiet up until now, offensively. But we all know that he's going to show up at some point or other. Uh, never a whole series goes quiet for Sipical. Oh, Rizzo snuck one through. G2 on the counter. String the passes together to perfection, as always. And Rizzo just hung around up there. He just lingered at the halfway line, waited to see if JNAPS would find him, and JNAPS did. And for once, it's Space Station that couldn't get the third man back in time. G2 waited for their opportunity. They have taken it. And they've got themselves yet another lead, but will it last for too much longer? Rizzo's save denies Arsenal his opportunity. Chicago, good strong clear from him. He'll try and pick up whatever he can, but doesn't look there's much boost and there's not really a player oh, around wow. to hit. Played there from Rettles. A lot of important territories again. Chicago with a ceiling pinch. A very, very difficult ball bounce to read. So Jane apps to Chicago. Not available for the double tap. Oh, an accidental bump actually does leave over to Rettles. What a shot that is! Oh! Off the post! And it's gone off Chicago for an own goal! Oh, that is a heartbreaker for G2. Well, heartbreaker for Chicago. He's been defending so well. But he may have just panic flipped on that one and landed exactly where the ball was. It's all gone wrong and Space Station Gaming really were the ones to cause it. That was a very awkward position for G2 to be in and unfortunately, they have failed to deal with it. JNAP's immediately in. Chicago on the ball. He's going to want to try and make up for that. Very really different style of game, though, than I think many people were anticipating from these two teams. Rettles can't get to it, oh though. My. And Rizzo has a brace one more away from his hat trick. Well, so, you know, we've been critical of G2's third man positioning. Rettles has done the exact same thing there. He was accelerating out of the goal area. All eyes on the counter attacking opportunity. No thought for Rizzo sending the ball back into the box. And that is exactly what caught G2 out in the first game. Space Station Gaming falling for the same trap here, namely Rattles, just driving forward in a very, very weird line. 
if there's anything that you should not be surprised by when it comes to G2, is that they're going for passing plays in your side of the field. Very unusual there from Rettles. Typical will not beat Rizzo to that one. Instead, it drops down. Jnabs wants to take a long shot yet again, and it is held out by Rettles. Now the long shot's becoming a threat from G2, and why wouldn't it be? Oh, not the team that needs to go looking for a goal. Instead, that third man will slowly be pressing further and further up for Space Station. As they try and hunt down this goal that can type the game. Not a good clear this time, though, from Sipical. Had the power, but ended up hitting the crossbar or hitting the ceiling, oh, I should my. say. Still a great recovery by Sipical to stay with that ball. He landed very awkwardly on the back wall and got a very nice save on JNAP's threatening double touch. Now it's Wrestles alone in defense. He's going to kill some time here. In fact, he's done very well. That wasn't a shootable angle for G2. Rettles covers, covers follow-up. If uh, Space Station can hang on a bit longer, they might be able to start thinking about counter-attacking. But we all know G2 can keep the ball in this position for a long, long time. We also know that this can go very, very wrong at any time. True, such yeah. Is the, uh, such is the fun of all of this. <laughs> Rettles over to the corner. Jane Apps at least kept it away from uh, an immediate shot from Sipical. Drop down to Arsenal. What a shot Oh my! the crossbar. Typical's pass right onto the uh, charging attacker. And now he just continues to attack after Ooh. the fact. G2 scrambling, and they have survived this flurry. But for how much longer? Arsenal back into the corner. Doesn't get the 100 boost instead. It's over to JNAPS. Doesn't have much to work with, but he's got just enough. And G2 get rid of the danger. Yeah, G2 looked a bit awkward in the last defensive play, but it was all Space Station Gaming really putting them in this really awkward position. Arsenal bumping multiple players as he came off the back wall. You can't really fault G2 uh, too much for all those conceding, I'll say, but they did it. And they've actually kept the ball into the in the defensive corner. Just another 20 seconds for G2 to hang on. And uh, this will make two games in a row where they've been the better team defensively, or at least even. It's it definitely been close. Made some great opportunities for themselves. Jane Apps called into action. He has got Chicago up in support. Arsenal over to Rettles. Rettles back into the midfield. That is a great interception. Make sure that the shot could not come on through. Chicago tasked with finding the ball on the way home to the floor, but he couldn't quite manage it. And instead, Jane Apps has oh, a go. Boy. And G2 Esports have answered back massively from that game one, Johnny. This is a very different looking team. Yeah, game one and two um, were expected. Those are the kind of games that we're very used to seeing uh, from G2. You know, a, a few defensive mistakes in game one, just putting them way behind, leaving them with far too much work to do. And then game two, they decide to dial it back a little bit and they still have plenty of offensive firepower to score and to create several chances, even when they're playing a bit more carefully. But game three is a bit of a surprise. This is where something unexpected has happened for the first time. Um, and it's involving G2 capitalizing on a very, very strange de defensive decision from Rettles. That's rare. Space Station Gaming don't often make these kind of mistakes on a, on a finals day like this. Uh, but yeah, it looked like Rettles just didn't see Rizzo maybe. Uh, he didn't realize the shot was coming in because there was absolutely no reason to drive off the goal line there, especially at high speed. Far too high risk, almost no reward uh, situation. But G2 have capitalized. Their shooting is working. Yeah, certainly so. And they're going to want to try and keep this up. Half the job done now for them as they've got two games of the four that they require to head on through and face Rogue in the next round. Um, for Space Station Gaming, though, offensively, they're not seeing quite as much uh, as they previously would have liked to have done. And it's it's not the typical complaints that we would have about this. We heard earlier on the desk saying, you know, maybe they're trying to over rely on the individual plays, but that's not been the case this series. They've attempted a couple of passing plays. G2 have just done a very good job of intercepting them. Yeah. Yeah, Space Station have been very uh, cheeky and very uh, unpredictable with their offense. It actually caused G2 to look very awkward in defense a couple of times in the last game at no fault of their own. Space Station were just playing very, very sneakily, uh, making life for G2 as difficult as possible. 
But what Space Station have really failed to do is ramp up the offensive volume and just pepper the G2 net with shots. We saw it work out well in Game 1, but Games 2 and 3 were a lot more quiet for Space Station. Nowhere near the same volume of offensive opportunities. And that allows G2 a little bit of a breather between every single shot and every single defensive play so they can recoup the boost, get back into position, and we're not as likely to see uh, those mistakes. Oh, wow! Oh, speaking of, Reynolds is typical in an absolute howler of a position here, but They've avoided conceding. I have no idea how, though. That looked like it was just going to go in off the Space Station Defender, never mind with G2's help. Yeah, that had two opportunities to go on in, and Space Station Gaming uh, got away with both of them. And G2, that will give them so much confidence now, seeing that Space Station Gaming are struggling quite a bit. They're making uncharacteristic mistakes. Arsenal getting hounded by Rizzo. Doing that quite a bit so far. Over off the backboard, JNAPS won't get challenged, doesn't take the shot anyway, and Rizzo, he second-guessed himself. Ends up allowing Arsenal his way through, and will Arsenal be able to create an opportunity? No, Rizzo, Rizzo able to at least make some sort of contact. Space Station Gaming have got their chance now in the opponent's side of the field. Nobody following up all too quickly. Rizzo unable to outplay Arsenal, though, in the midfield. I'm loving this. Like, G2 Esports have kind of given up on winning the ball whenever they go through for one of these challenges. They are targeting the player after they hit the ball. It's made Space Station a very difficult time following up, but they almost got a chance here. Here comes the oh, shot off the post. Goodness. Rizzo now up against Arsenal. Arsenal, good block. And it drops down for JNAPS, who will guide the ball out of his side of the field. Both teams having a very worrying moment, and both teams haven't conceded. Well, G2's shooting is definitely at a higher level than Space Station is at the moment. Typical um, missing a target to the far post made absolutely no sense. If you're going to hit the post there, it's got to be on the near post so that someone else can follow up. That ball just naturally cleared itself. I mean, that, that's not a problem G2 have had. Their shots have been impressive and they've had a lot more of them. Now here's another one. JNAPS really piling on the pressure to Space Station. The edge is very much um, in uh, G2's favor at the moment. Uh, Rettles can change that in a 1v1 with JNAPS. Not even close. JNAPS makes it look easy. Yeah, JNAPS, great dart over to the right-hand side. Made it impossible for Rettles to find him with a demo. Space Station Gaming, probing for that first goal of this game. That goes difficult. It's going to be a difficult catch. Very difficult for him to perform his same sort of trickery in the midair. Not a great touch there from Chicago. Invites Sipical in, and Sipical, he's seen j -Nabs getting bumped. All he has to do is find the target, but Rizzo is now finally back. They could have taken oh, well, that a little bit quicker and gone for the first time double tap. That could have been a goal. Oh, that was masterful in defense by Rizzo, though. Chicago called him off the ball, and Rizzo managed to get out of the way in a really precarious position. That's some uh, phenomenal communication by G2, something that um, Space Station are clearly struggling with at the other end of the field, given the collision we had between two defenders earlier on. But now it's typical, unmarked in the middle, and he opens the scoring for Space Station. Rizzo was alone at the back for a lot longer than he expected, and he got dunked on by Arsenal. Yeah, Arsenal is well up his way to make sure he got that dunk. Hard read from him. And Arsenal again. Great playmaker for the team. Get back in this, he's back on the ball again. Chicago, he's not going to oh reach it! My. And Arsenal involved in both goals. That puts Space Station up by a comfortable lead now. Well, Arsenal's been playing a good bit of 1v1 recently, and it definitely shows on that play. Chicago expected a shot after the bounce. Uh, he didn't expect a full volley. Arsenal smacks it over him, reads the fake challenge, and that doubles up the lead. It's a very clean offensive performance for Arsenal at the moment, creating one goal, scoring the second all by himself. And you know, it's usually typical who's the main offensive force for SSG. Right now it's Arsenal. Rettles gets in the way of G2's follow-up shot. It's not the absolute last uh, minute of the game for G2, but it will be soon. Chicago cuts the lead in half. Rizzo just lofted it up for him, and that is some first-class delivery. And looks like we've got ourselves a game on our hands. Space Station Gaming have to try and hold on to this. And tie this series up just by keeping a hold of that lead for 47 more seconds. Jane Apps. 
Doesn't really clear it to much of anybody. Not that he needs to. Over to himself. It's off the backboard. Who's going to be the first one to it? It's Rizzo. Fakes out the oh. first shot. Hits the crossbar afterwards. That could have been the way for G2 to get back into this game. Instead, they have to keep searching for it. Yeah, Rizzo's shot wasn't on the right side of the bar. And just like typical shot earlier in the game, if it was a pass, it wouldn't have been at the back post. It wouldn't be bouncing clear. So definitely only is uh, shooting in, in Rizzo's mind at that point. Needed to be more accurate. Space Station Gaming have a strong midfield position. They've got full boost in all three players. How on earth are G2 going to score from here? Oh, that's a good bounce for them, but typical. will catch it on its way back over to him. Two each now in the series. And it is going to be Space Station Gaming and G2 who look inseparable with the way these games are going. Neither team has really, outside of that game, one for Space Station, ever since then had a period of time where we feel, all right, this team is the team that's in control. This team is the team that looks like they're going to be able to, you know, carry this through for another five or ten minutes. It is just back and forth the entire time. Yeah, I would agree. This is just as close as we hoped it would be. Oh, just wow, as close. that could have been very, yeah. very different of a game. Yeah, you know, really well played to Rettles, to be fair, after, um, you know, just such a huge defensive misplay driving into typical there. Uh, you know, it was kind of just both of them miscommunicating whose play it, whose ball it was, who was supposed to be the one making that play. Uh, but Rettles did really well. That was one of the strongest 50-50s we're going to see all day from a standstill. It is very, very hard to hold your ground with no momentum against a player who's barreling into a challenge uh, and get the ball to bounce out to a safe location. But Rettles did so in that play. Uh, you know, does it make up for the, the misplay? I think, well, technically, because no goal got scored. But at the same time, the misplay is just so ridiculous uh that you know we need to see a lot more from space station gaming and defense if we're if i'm going to say uh that they're the favorites again i still think g2 have got the edge because although they've lost game four um they didn't you know look really bad in defense at any point here um and if they can keep up that uh consistency then i i favored the g2 offense to be the the deal breaker here i feel like the one player to really watch out for at the moment obviously all players on the field are playing reasonably well, but it's this one, Arsenal, who has had some fantastic game-breaking moments for himself. Pretty able to split the defense. Yeah. And there is Arsenal looking for the double tap. Chicago, awkward angle for him to actually try and pop that one away, but he does get it. And G2 using all three players to clear their lines. Yeah, it was Arsenal uh, who got a you know, pretty insane goal and Forbidden Temple for Space Station Gaming. Uh, and he had full involvement in all of Space Station's good chances in the last game as well. He's been, uh, you know, their one successful player overall today. At least compared to what we're used to seeing. Space Station Gaming are very, very consistent. They're, they're one of the teams who don't often have a carry player, um, unlike all the other uh, top teams in NA. Way out to JNAPS. Give me a slow shot. I wanted to try and use Rizzo, but that is a good clear. Stipical looks for the follow. Chicago can't get there. Oh. And Stipical turns it in for goal number one. And it's just simply not quite good enough for Chicago. His boost pathing let him down here. He missed about three, four small boost pads. And that means that when he goes up for this back wall rebound, it is so much more difficult to land it properly. Stipical gets a slow shot on target, which is also key because it's less likely to hit the diving pre-jumping goalkeeper if he hits it slowly. So fantastic play there by typical. Chicago's boost pathing lets him down. J-Naps. Rebels take it. They can't quite get there before him though. Rizzo also dives on in. So G2 using a lot of players for very little actual rewards. It does seem like Space Station have become very wise to these bumping plays. This could be a little bit difficult if your name is not typical. In apps. Ceiling reset. Not the cleanest. Goes for the pinch of his own teammate. Good call there from G2, who looks like they've got the communication very much in order for this series. But now Arsenal dives around one player. That's an awkward bounce, though. Would have liked that to just bounce straight off the wall over to a teammate. Instead, rolled on up. Yeah, Arsenal more concerned, of course, getting the ball past the first defender, uh, the, or the, the challenge there from the goalkeeper, I should say, uh, than scoring. Just wanted to deny the counter-attack from G2 more than anything else. Didn't want a 50-50 um, at all in that position. And that's really what Space Station are going to try and do, is just avoid 
any kind of uh, fast-paced counter-attack that G2 are so well known for. Typical. Called off it by Arsenal. That was quite far behind him, so definitely understand that decision. Now it's into the midfield. Rizzo, he's had a good time with the shots so far this series. That one won't quite go for him. Space Station Gaming not getting locked down here. That is a good touch from Chicago. Jane Habs. Wow. Let's see if anything could happen, but couldn't quite get the players for it. Chicago again. Gets it past one. He is bumped and rattles. Plop that straight over to Zipical, who will play his way out. Only as far as Chicago. One more time. Off the backboard. Double tap attempt. That's going to drop down so awkwardly. Oh, and it's off it? the upright. J-Naps. We're very disappointed to not see that one go in. But Space Station Gaming are holding so strong. Oh, well, yeah. We had a little bit of a hiccup in the last couple of games from Wrestles. End of game three, start game four. None of that here. He's been defending brilliantly for the past three minutes. And now he's got a goal at the other end of the field as well. G2 starting to struggle, Shogun to get any kind of offense going. This uh, Space Station have upped the success rate of their challenges. And they've transitioned very well. Again, Arsenal getting involved in offense. Yeah, you've seen G2. A lot of the goals they've been conceding have been as they're trying to still get players back. That oh. one almost snuck right underneath the defense. Infield pass. He's going to have anyone around, so Jane Apps has to take it by himself. Well, the success that they're having with the challenges. Look at the success that they're having with just the transition gameplay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Arsenal. What a series he's had for himself. A well-deserved goal here. And that should do it for Space Station. Yeah, Arsenal just faster than Rizzo on that one. And he has been the standout player here. Full uh, goal participation with a couple of assists and now a goal for himself. Arsenal, easily the most impactful player in the lobby at the moment. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see this go to Game 7. It just feels like one of those matchups, Shogun. Mm. G2 are uh, destined for a Game 7, and then, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but probably another tough loss given how uh, their season's been going so far. And they're not done with Game 5 just yet. Oh, they might be after that one. Typical. Denies them any goals. Jane Apps will pick one up on the next attempt. But they really had to work for that. Chicago must have thought that it was only accuracy that mattered than that play. And then he realizes to his dismay, Typical's still there. One minute and five seconds left. Two goals separating the two teams. And G2 Esports found themselves in a very similar position in game number one. Weren't able to do too much about it. With Rails winning challenges like that. That can get very, very difficult for you. Rizzo tries to find the challenge. He does get it. JNAP's now called in, but he's not going to get there before Rettles. Find that one killer pass that can just split this defense open or a Space Station Gaming just too strong at the moment. That was his touch for Arsenal. 30 seconds now. G2 still haven't managed to create that chance ever since we got the kickoff back up and rolling again. And Rettles, he's just trying to dance around, forces the challenge in the last one. All three players from G2 are used. They didn't get anything for it. Time is running out. JNAPS has to give them something here. Pass it to Chicago. Off the backboard. In comes Rizzo. Oh, it's a slow shot. Oh, my. Gets in the way. Oh. It's off the backboard one more time. And G2 Esports just ran out of players by the end. No one left to take a shot. And it is going to be match point Space Station. Well, the tide has certainly turned in Space Station's favor now. It, uh, it looked fine for G2. Game four was not a disaster by any means. Uh, but game five, now they've got a couple of problems. Arsenal is stepping up consistently. Rettles has uh, ceased with the defensive randomness uh, that he was bringing to games number uh, three and four. Um, and uh, even more so, their offense is not working anymore. What is going on with G2 shooting earlier on in the series? Every single shot looked like it might be uh, a goal. It would, it would, they were all consistently threatening. Uh, the Space Station defense. Now we've seen how many cross parts, how many posts at the end of the game. Even Chicago's open net there, uh, just far too slow, allowed Sipical to recover and keep it out for another few seconds. It's really, really tough uh, for G2 now to dig themselves out of this hole because although Space Station have been in these kind of positions and succeeded many, many times this year, G2 haven't. This is uh, just another one of those days where it's not all coming together for them and Space Station have been more consistent uh, once we get to the latter end of these series. 
Well, is it going to be just another one of those days for G2, or can they find some sort of resurgent energy to put them through into that Game 7 onto Champions Field? We have to find out here as JNAPS looks to try and provide straight from the off. And they've caused a bit of chaos here, actually, for Space Station Gaming, who were on typical to get them out of a little bit of sticky position. G2 have played this very well, this series. It's not been the series that we're looking towards them where they've made mistakes. Oh, that's an infield pass, and that's lethal! Oh, my. Rattles with a rocket into the top corner! Stunning. Absolutely stunning pass from Sipical. He did not hold back with the power as he fired that one into the middle. Rettles had the whole goal to aim at. Picks out the top corner. Space Station look like they might be ready to end G2's run inside six games. And that's almost a taunting goal as well for Space Station because that's what G2 have wanted to score this entire time. Those infield passing plays that just haven't had the accuracy after the fact. Base station to get it. That's a shot that wouldn't have been on target anyway. But still, good position for G2 to work with. Space Station got all three players back. They've got typical on the ball. That's usually a good get out of jail free card for them. This time, not quite the case. Instead, Rettles fakes that one and he's actually through over on oh, net. No. Who's going to get it? Typical provided earlier. And he thinks he's owed one here. And he certainly will get it. Oh, I think the panic has definitely set in for G2. It's uh, the good old faithful JNAPS, the only defender left in the position. He doesn't make contact with the challenge, it doesn't defend the net, doesn't cover the passing option, really just nothing uh, being dealt with there for G2. Space Station had the pick of the litter. They could have scored any number of ways on that play. And G2, although they've got time, have just not had the clutch factor this season, Sugar. They haven't played out of these uh, positions on any of the final days against top teams. This is very, very difficult to see them coming back from here. Gonna need something special from all three players. Gonna need a more consistent performance from all three players. Likes of which we haven't seen yet in RLCS Season X. Now JNAP, so he's at the bar as well. G2 continuing to have shooting woes. Rizzo holds it down in defense, but how long is it gonna take for G2 to hit the target? Just finding all the right ways to set this up. None of the finish, though, is going for them. They've got to try and get something soon. You don't want to be heading into the latter half of this game against a two-goal lead for your opponents. Chicago finds his way around. I think his teammate was demoed on the far side, and yes, you can see it. Arsenal taking out the passing option. That is going to be further frustration for G2, especially with JNAPS colliding with Chicago over in their back corner. Now taking a while to get this going after the bump. Settle this down. Typical. Almost got it past J Naps. Crucial touch from him. Tries to find the angle. And again, the, all the supporting ta ca cast is there. It's just their demos half the time. It's been very difficult for G2 to get these players forwards. Yeah, it's just it's another unfortunate situation for G2. It's hard enough to come back from 1 0 down against SSG, but they just made it a little bit harder um, by throwing away another goal. And time is running out. They haven't had the most successful conversions of the, their chances in the past couple of games. Maybe in the past three games, you could say. It's been a bit more of a struggle in the first two to get the shots on target. And oh, no, no, another one's gone in. G2 are having a nightmare. But Space Station Gaming have just got everything going their way. What a favorable ball bounce that is. 3-0. Space Station trying to take three games in a row. And Rattles will definitely be turning around to Arsenal and saying, well, my read was definitely better than yours. What a way for Space Station to stamp their authority on this one. Three goals now for G2. Here's J Naps over off the backboard. There's nobody available to meet it first time. Instead, Typical catches it after. It's not going to trouble them too much. Typical away again and a booming clear you can see Genops is so far forward if that's on target nice 4 nil for space station but it's a risk that g2 have to take at this point yeah. yeah caution has been thrown into the wind for g2 rightfully so at this point i mean at one nil there's no excuse for the kind of defensive positioning that g2 have had at times four nil yeah you just gotta go for it i don't see it though g2 shooting um in game one gave them a glimmer of hope of coming back 
from the defensive blunders they made at the start of the game. Game six, it's a different story. G2's uh, shooting has gone out the window instead of into the goal, and it's looking more like G2 for Space Station Gaming. Rogue are waiting. We're impressed with Rogue earlier on. Space Station Gaming will be a very tantalizing prospect for them to really cement themselves as a new top team in the region. Space Station Gaming, this is looking like job done for them here. Rails with the hat trick. Typical got himself a goal, which uh, I believe he also stole from Rails, so. Should really be four goals, Rettles, at this point. Typical. Gonna get. There we go, Rettles! <laughs> <laughs> he gets one back. And. Uh, there you go. Yeah, first fair. Yeah, you heard you, Shogun. Rettles agrees. Yeah, it should, it should be four goals, Rettles. Although, in fairness to him, that's not uh, really a goal steal. That is also, uh, you know, a shot on target. Arsenal here has just said demos matter in chat because he's sitting at the bottom of the scoreboard with 50 points, no goals, <laughs> no assists, no saves, no shots. <laughs> A whole pile of demos. But, I mean, he's right. Arsenal's already done his fair share today. Oh, he's not going to get a goal, is he? He's not even going to get a shot there because he's missed by too much. <laughs> so he's going to have to settle for just the, the 50 points, up to 64 now for Arsenal. Yeah, he, he was really the one who turned this around for Space Station Gaming uh, to give him all the credit he deserves. Rettles was looking very, very shaky in the mid middle of the series here. Typical didn't really show up like he sometimes can, very often can, but Arsenal was the solid rock. He was the man creating goals for SSG and just making sure that G2 weren't having their way with them in offense. It's been um, a sad end for G2 to another regional run. We're still waiting for them to show up in the final day of one of these over Space Station Gaming. They've turned it around and they're ready to go on and face Rogue in the next round. And we always get one of these teams that seems to go for a very, very long run through that lower bracket. Space Station Gaming have now taken down Soul Version 1, Ghost Gaming, Kansas City Pioneers and G2 Esports with Rogue next on the hit list. Um, right now, th that was the most convincing performance we've actually seen from Space Station in their lower bracket run. Oh, so uh, that's going to be something very nice to see as well. Yeah, it, well, it finished strong, which is, I guess, the important thing. Space Station have turned it around. And, you know, most importantly, Rettles has turned it around because at the end of Game 3, start of Game 4, he had a couple of really, really poor defensive mm -hmm. plays. One just dashing out of the net as third man, letting a shot go over the top of him, and then driving into typical, although it's a bit more of a team mistake, I guess. Uh, than all on Rettles, but he managed to step up. He didn't panic, and credit to him, Rettles always knows how to respond uh, to those misplays and to bounce back from them. He's such a valuable asset because even if he's on a bad day, he can turn it around and turn it into a good day in the blink of an eye. And uh, Space Station have done that here. They've eliminated G2, and they've looked good in the final part of the series, giving them the right uh, path into their matchup against Rogue, which is going to be a whole lot harder. Absolutely. And that is now the story set for the lower bracket. But when we come back from a break, we're going to find out who the final boss of this tournament is going to be. It's Team Envy against NRG.